one. Hey guys, okay, so Nolan's review for episode four, I'm pretty sure. We are not going to be doing an actual video of me talking to you guys. This video, I found out that it was going to be way easier than me talking to you. So we are going to be doing a presentation of my review over the Ren's TV show. Now, yes, you guys might be wondering what the emoji is for. Um, that was a joke. That was actually towards the adult jokes, adult humor, and everything else, so don't be worried about that. So, my review of Ren and Stimpy. Now, Ren and Stimpy is um, in a... Okay, so Ren and Stimpy was created in 1991, and soon along, it ended in 1996, with a total of five episodes, and I'm pretty sure 65 episodes total. And the creator of it was called... was named John Kirkfluzzi, and, well... <sighs> Apparently, he was really hard to work with, but I'm not really going to talk about that. This is just my review over the show in general. Now, I absolutely love Ren and Stimpy. You guys do not know how much I love it. Ren and Stimpy is one of my all-time favorite Nickelodeon shows besides Spongebob. And the reason is because the fans, everything, like... And yes, I have the complete series on DVD. I have seasons 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 on DVD. It's an amazing show. But, of course, some things do have a little turn in life. In 2003, John Kirk Faluzzi started his own reboot, revival of the show. And it was mainly focused on the everyday lives of the adult versions of Ren and Stimpy. And it was called Ren and Stimpy Adult Party Cartoon. Now, there is a lot of different similarities from the original series and the actual the Adult Party Cartoon series. And here you go. Now, oh my god. The adult party cartoon was in Flash, and the original show was in full-on animation. And oh my god, guys, it looks way better in full-on animation. You do not understand. Now, I'm serious when I'm talking to you guys about this Flash animation that we got for adult party cartoon in 2003. It feels like a Teen Titans Go version, but in 2003, and it's just terrifying. I cannot talk today. It is just terrifying. I can't even say words, pronounce any, because I just cannot stand why we even got the Adult Party cartoon in the first place. It's just so horrific, and I just cannot believe. Now, there are some quite different designs, but there aren't really a lot. It's just basically the animation styles that they use for both series. I mean, we do get to see them get a little bit older. They do look aged. I kind of see, like, if they were in dog years or cat years, if they were, like, in human years, I think that the original series, they would probably be, like, going on in their 20s, but on the adult party cartoon, I actually kind of see them going into their 40s, because they're, they, oh god, I just don't understand, they look really wrinkly, they're, oh gosh, you guys don't understand, the adult party cartoon, it has terrible, 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 uh, voice acting, and it is just so bland, the animation is bland, the, the episodes act, like, the episodes take so long to get through, it feels like you just watched an hour of an episode of Ren and Stimpy, but it is just terrifying, and I'm not even really talking about Adult Party Cartoon, um, so, Adult Party Cartoon is actually a review I want to get on later in the future, just not the moment, but if you guys can tell, look at Stimpy's nose from the original series, Compare that to the adult party cartoon. Oh god, you guys. You guys can tell that they were kind of trying, but not really. I, I don't understand anymore, guys. Now, I mean, there are better sides of Ren and Stimpy and John Kirk Floozy, and that is him actually trying. And at the Comic-Con, I'm pretty sure he drew this picture that I'm showing you guys right now for this fan of his, of Ren and Stimpy. And it is amazing. You guys can tell that he actually wants to bring back this show. And he is in 2019. There is going to be a short before the next Spongebob movie of Ren and Stimpy. And we are all stoked. We don't know if it's going to be 11 minutes, 5 minutes. We don't know how long, but we wish it was going to be 20 minutes. But it might just be 11. We don't know for sure yet. But I do love how he still has remembrance to Ren and Stimpy. And that is what we all love most about him. That he still cares, that he is still out there and wanting to bring it back. 
like literally guys you guys don't understand he wants to do this really bad and just looking at how wonderful he drew this you guys can tell that the adult party cartoon was not his best effort he probably wants to put that all behind him and probably bring back Ren and Stimpy but Nickelodeon I read an article they are not really ready to bring back Ren and Stimpy after everything that has happened with John and it is sad but we are going to leave on leave this video with a really great thing now we're not going to be saying something bad about the show something good about the show is literally the episodes um the episodes are so original they have a lot of originality creativity and i feel like ren and stimpy the entire series is literally seasons one two and three of spongebob because that's how much creativity gets put into these each and every one of these episodes and it's just so fabulous and so wonderful of how he tries to make this show really great and that is what we love most about it so yes we are leaving on a really good note so thank you guys for watching nolan's review of ren and stimpy episode four make sure to check out the next episode of nolan's reviews thanks guys for watching